I think the the biggest thing, at least in women's sport um, in America, is when you go from college to professional, it obviously becomes a business, and you're used to being somewhere for four years and growing. You have people looking out for you, and when it becomes a business, you're fighting for your job every day and your livelihood. And um, that was a big transition to me. I would say. Yeah, I think mine is very similar in that your success is dependent on how hard you are willing to work. You can, when you become, when you're in college, like she said, you have to wake up at a certain time. You have coaches making sure of it. When you're in the pros, if you want to sleep until 10 o'clock in the off season, you can sleep until 10 o'clock. If you want to train, you can train. If, if you want to eat healthy, you can eat healthy, or you can eat ice cream all day. You can sleep, you can. So I think the biggest thing is becoming self-disciplined and having to take care of yourself and make sure that you control your own success. One of the things we've noticed, um, here in the UK and within the Premier League and the Championship, there is so much tradition. And that's what we love so much. And that's why we're such big fans. We come here and even in our short time we've been in Burnley, we can feel the tradition and we can feel how ingrained the community and the families here are. And you get that a little bit in America, but it, it feels different. And here it, it feels like another level. Yeah, I feel like here they truly are holding on to the history and the loyalty of if you live in Burnley, you're a Burnley fan through and through, no matter what. Uh, I feel like over in America with fantasy football, with all these different ways to watch different teams, people are becoming fans of teams that aren't their city, and, and which is great, but it also loses some of that traditionalism where you feel that tribalism with your own club and your own place. And I think we certainly feel that here at Burnley, that everybody here is pulling for one team, the Claret and Blue, and that's all. One thing we've heard a lot since we've been here is that when Burnley wins, you can feel the whole town. It just feels better and everyone's excited. And I don't know too many places in America that an entire town or entire city is changed so much by the, the outcome of the game. So it's very cool. At first, I would say enjoy it. I would say enjoy every second. I think that we have such a propensity to look into our future and wish and want for things, which is good because you want to work towards those things. But at the same time, that sometimes robs us of the joy of today. I think that it's very important, especially at those ages, um, from ages 16 to 19, you have incredible friendships. You have this innocence that you are going to lose at some point in your life. There is just a beauty to it that you want to make sure you enjoy every second. Don't stop working towards your goals, but make sure you enjoy every second of it. I agree. Not to copy you, but I think that um, when you're younger and you're growing up, especially in sports, you get so stressed about everything and worked up. And if things aren't going your way, I remember at the beginning of, of my career, I would get so upset about playing time or it's, a result didn't go my way. And then, like you said, you look back on it and you're like, I should have just enjoyed every moment. And that's probably the biggest thing.